you, Roy Tidmarsh. Always a happy day when you arrive here on our uh, on on our premises. Halloween, of course, just around the corner, and uh, you've got something for all seasons. So if you're looking for some spooktacular fun treats, you have come to the right place. So Roy Tidmarsh, Tidmarsh uh, chocolates, of course, uh, and you've got these amazing things that you're saying. You were just telling me uh, while Sam was talking that a lot of this stuff people can do at home and including this chocolate haunted house? Absolutely. The, really? uh, it's, it's very easy to make this kind of candy at home. It's great. You know what's in it. You know what you're getting. It's not a lot of junk in it. Um, and we sell all the stuff to, to make your house. Like this little haunted house right here came out of this mold right here. This one here and this, let's, okay, so if we hold this up, you can see Wow, so it came right out of this very same That's piece of correct. plastic mold. And it's that, you guys sell the molds? We do. And we sell the chocolate to melt and put in the molds. And we sell the trims that come on the house. And it's very easy to do. So if I want to do something like this, I, I would buy maybe these, cho these chocolate uh, sort of... Um, caps. Caps, thank right. you. Um, these little uh, manhole covers, I guess yeah. you could say. <laughs> that, uh, and different colors. You yes, we have chocolate and we have green and orange, obviously, for Halloween. Now we're coming into the busy candy season, so it's right now through Easter that we go full steam ahead. And that green will probably be pretty helpful when uh, Christmas time rolls around, sure too, I'm guessing, Very right? Popular. So, yeah. and, do you, and do you have, not to jump ahead of uh, Halloween here, even though all the stores do that, sure. um, do you have uh, Christmas or, or, or Hanukkah molds, those yes, kinds of things? Yes, we do. Uh, Christmas will be out right after Halloween because our space is so confined in our little shop that we only do one holiday at a time. So Isn't Halloween that how it should be? Well, I think so, boy, too. Boy, maybe I'm changing topics, but boy, that, ought to be a, that ought to be a participate question. But you know what? I think funny. it has been. We're already making candy canes and things like that for Christmas, so yeah, you got to get a good jump on Time it. Time flies know? by. Yes. Now, you're known for chocolate lollipops, and uh, you have those, some of those over to yep. uh, the viewers uh, far right here. And uh, so what, tell us about some of the decorations on these well, guys. Well, the decorations are made out of royal icing, which is simply um, a sugar-based uh, icing that gets hard and we color it and then we pipe them out and, and we sell the, the uh, trims that go on them, like the, the uh, skeleton head and the pumpkin head and things like that. Well, these those, faces, which are just a little over here. Yes, they, those all go, uh, we sell all those things too to trim them up and it's very easy, it's, it's really simple to do. And we'll be happy to explain to people how to do it when they come in and visit us. So it's know-how, it's all everything you need to have and know to do it. That's correct. How long does it take to make something like, let's say, the chocolate well, haunted house or made, this pumpkin? We just made this pumpkin when we came over here this morning. So, okay. And, and now it's cold. It's, it's, it's cooled off in the refrigerator. And then you just take one side off. So part of, the, part of the time doing it is just letting it cool. That's correct. So it won't fall apart. And when there you, you have the whole pumpkin. And that's hollow. That is a hollow pumpkin. It look, and it's all chocolate. It's all chocolate. It looks delicious. And you can put candy corn and things like that inside of it if you want to. Well, I suppose so, you could so then, couldn't you? when you smash it, it, it opens it's up. It's full of other stuff. It's, yes. like a, it's like a chocolate pinata. Yes. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Things but are getting better of, all the time. And now the popcorn. One of the most popular things for the holidays is chocolate covered popcorn. So our bowl of popcorn, a little bit of chocolate. Oh. This is, so you're drizzling. This isn't a drizzle. This is an all out downpour. Well, yeah. But I like, I, hey, not that I'm complaining. Not that there's anything wrong with that, we say. Stir it up to coat the popcorn. So it doesn't look like chocolate, but it is. But it is. And it's, it's creamy and delicious. And now if you want to get real fancy, you take some Halloween sprinkles, sprinkle in there. Jimmy's, we call those things where Jimmy's, I grew up around right. the Boston And area. before I forget, I got to do a shout out for my niece, little Miss Aaron, who's visiting today. Oh, yeah? On their way to New York City from Rhode Island to see Mary Poppins down in the city. Oh, live production. So she'll be thrilled that I said her name on television. What was her name again? Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Riley. 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 What did I say? What did I'm I say? getting I, mixed up What am I getting? Aaron is her mother. Aaron's her mom. Okay. Yeah. So Riley, hey, hello. Glad you're watching. So then all you do is take the popcorn when you coat it, put it on some parchment paper or wax paper, pat it down a little bit, let that get hard, yeah, and then just break it up, and you have chocolate-covered popcorn. And let the jackals just come in oh. like it's like it's springtime on the Serengeti, <laughs> right at your party. Awesome. All right. Well, you know, so these these molds and ballpark. What if I was going to buy one of those molds? Molds what? are two dollars and fifty cents a piece. Well, that's dirt cheap. And we have the sticks. The chocolate is four ninety nine a pound. We only carry a premium chocolate. We carry Merkin's brand. Not the craft store brand. We carry premium candy, so it's very good. You'll be enjoying to eat it, and you'll be thrilled to give it to people because it is so good. Ah, who can make a sunrise and sprinkle it with dew? This guy. 
Roy Tidmarsh, thank you very much. Of course, Tidmarsh, uh, uh, the shop in Ansonia.